Hey guys, Diesel back in the Nerd Cave. Well, hopefully almost back. We're still doing the renovations, but hopefully in the next couple of days we'll be back in the Nerd Cave. Just wanted to do a quick video on my Criterion pickups. Uh, as you know, the Criterion 50% Barnes & Noble sale uh, just started on July 1st. So I, of course, ran over there and picked up a couple of titles. Um, I've picked up five so far. Just wanted to quickly go through them. And let's start off with the first one, Martin Scorsese's uh, The Irishman. And I know this is on Netflix, um, but I haven't seen it yet. And, you know, clearly I want to own the physical copy. Really nice release. Um, I almost picked it up during the last sale, but I waited on it. And, yeah, it's one of these cardboard... Packaging releases, and this actually looks nice. Got the photos of everyone. It's got some, got the two discs, which I, I'm assuming would be. I wonder if that's, yeah, it's got to be a special features disc. And a booklet. Let's see if we could. There we go. Pretty nice. I, knew, I know they did some de aging on this one. So see how that looks. Again, I, I have not seen it yet. That's the first one. Okay, so next one up is a another one that has that cardboard packaging, and it's all about Eve, uh, Betty Davis. I don't have too many of like these classic movies, and I've heard really good things about this. I know this won a bunch of Academy Awards back in 1950. So um, I, I picked it up ton of special features as you would expect. So the thing about this packaging though, you know, it's, it, it looks good, right? But the inside, you know, good art. But this, okay, so here's the booklet and it gets stuck. I thought it was attached, but it's not. Now, if you look at the discs on this, it's got these rubber holders here, not the plastic ones like the Irishman had. They had like the those like plastic ones that pop in. These are rubber and they're actually really hard. I thought I was going to break the disc when I was trying to get it out. So don't know why they did that. I hate this. <laughs> um, I would almost prefer the sleeves and I don't even like the sleeves. I feel like they, they scratch up the discs, but this I feel like I'm going to break it every time. It doesn't really have any give when you push it like the other plastic ones, you push it and it releases it. It doesn't do that here. And the other annoying part is it gets the booklet to stick on it. Now, it hasn't ripped yet, but it's starting to on the sides. So, now I haven't seen too many releases like that. So, let me know, guys, if you've seen similar type packaging. But really nice book. Uh, how many? I wish it was a hardcover, though. It's kind of flimsy. It looks like it's missing... It can't be. I mean, it was a sealed copy, but I feel like it's missing a, the outer, unless this is what's supposed to be kind of like the outer cover. But I feel like it should have been attached or, or have like a hard cover to it. But yeah, 44 pages. So, you know, Criterion always does a good job with that stuff. Just surprised with this packaging. It just seems, I don't know, like something's going to rip or break on this one. And it's kind of flimsy on the ends. Not the best packaging I've seen. I almost prefer just give me a regular Amore when it comes to Criterion. Some of them look nice, like the Days and Confused one's really cool. The scanners is, is pretty cool, but that's gonna rip one day. Okay, next one up is um, a classic I've never seen, 1985, Brazil. This one's a little more for some reason. I don't think because it's a two disc set. It was um, 25 with the sale. Here's a description. Like I said, 1985 release. Director approved. So disc one is the restored transfer of the Terry Gilliam's Director's cut. And this too is 
I guess a full length documentary, I'd assume. A couple of them. Oh, 94, yeah. Okay. Here's the discs, and yes, I'm talking about, like, do this. That's all they had to do. I've seen the cardboard inserts that have this. I'm gonna get over it. I'm sure, unless it rips. <laughs> Another booklet. So definitely excited to check this out. Next one up is a um, Guillermo del Toro film, The Devil's Backbone, one of his earlier films. Just picked up Kronos on the last cell. Haven't watched that yet. So I figured I'd pick up another one of his films. I've heard amazing things about this. So definitely looking forward to checking it out. Special features from 2001. Oh, here are the special features. <clears throat> it does come, of course, with a booklet. Here's the inside artwork. Oh, with the chapters, you don't see that a lot. Okay, this just opens up. Yeah, I, um, I'm slowly building up my Criterion collection. It's another one where, you know, I don't typically buy them during the year. I will get them during the sales. Um, to be honest, Amazon always has them for like, I think the going rate on Amazon is like 28 bucks, $30, typically without the sale. Barnes & Noble, you know, it's 50% off, but 50% off of a super inflated price. I mean, this was $50 if outside the sale and 25 but i guarantee all day long in amazon this is going to be 25 so listen i'm going to support barnes and noble um during the sale but during the year when i pick up criterion i always go to amazon it's kind of stupid not to what was it i saw nobody right um that was a recent release blu-ray for 35 dollars. i mean that's crazy there were there were um, 4Ks for $45 that you get at Best Buy or Amazon for 20 something bucks. So I don't know why Barnes & Noble does that and who actually pays those prices. Barnes & Noble is weird. They have really good prices or terrible prices. I guess they're just trying to survive. But And of course, the two titles that I wanted weren't there. And I'll, I'll just get that. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, the last one I picked up was David, Cro David Cronenberg's Crash. This is from 1996. And I actually saw this in 1996 in the theater. I believe it was NC-17. Uh, we went to um, kind of a seedy theater um, in Times Square in New York back in 96. Um, I was 16, so I technically, I guess, sh shouldn't have been allowed in there, but we went in. They let us in again Times Square mid 90s was not the Times Square you see today which is owned pretty much by Disney this is like you know with the neon lights and all the family friendly stuff this is this was CD New York um, kind of turning around a little bit at that point but it just it was a perfect setting to watch this movie because this is a effed up movie um, and I haven't revisited it since I was 16 so I'm hoping now that I'm older, I'll appreciate it more. I remember watching it when I was that age, just being excited to see an NC-17 movie and just a little disgusted by it. But again, David Cronenberg, you'd expect that. But yeah, it was like the grossest theater in Times Square. Here's special features. It's a pretty good cast. I think it's, yeah, it's James Spader and Holly Hunter. There's some scenes in this, man, that just stuck, stick with you, you know? Uh, I believe this is a poster, so I'm not going to crack it open. I know there's a 4K release. Um, I feel like, is it an Arrow? There's, there's an Arrow release. I don't know if that's 4K, but I chose to get this on the, um, the Criterion. But yeah, guys, that's it. Those are the pickups. For the Criterion sale, again, I'm pretty sure it goes the entire month, so I can imagine that 
I will maybe go back um, or even pick them up. I know Amazon matches a lot of these prices. There was two movies I wanted to get, John Travolta in Blowout um, that my brother-in-law picked up during the last sale, I think. I didn't get. Um, I could not find it in stores, but it's on Amazon for $19.99, so I might pick that up. And another one, it's an Albert Brooks, Brooks and Meryl Streep movie, Defending Your Life. I remember watching that a lot as a kid on HBO. Very typical Albert Brooks, Brooks type movie humor. Um, interesting story. I do enjoy the movie. Um, I was very tempted to pick it up when it was first released. But of course, I went to two different Barnes and Nobles yesterday and only found the DVD release and almost picked that up. On Amazon, it sold out. So I'm going to keep an eye out on Amazon and some other stores. So like I said, a whole month. So I may make another trip. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What did you pick up during the sale? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time in the Nerd Cave.